In my never ending quest to help you decide where to live in the Twin Cities, whether you're moving to Minnesota or you already live here, I came across a list of niche.com's top five neighborhoods for Minneapolis and St. Paul for safety. Why don't we recap the Minneapolis and St. Paul area in case you're not familiar. So in the Twin Cities, we've got a median sale price of $422,000. Minneapolis coming in lower at 387, and then St. Paul's at 320,000. So first of all, if you are looking into the more metro tight areas with either of the downtowns, you're gonna see an overall lower price point than the rest of the metro. The suburb is getting more expensive. Minneapolis is a little bit younger of a city, kind of more hip and trendy. St. Paul's more historic, but Minneapolis is also gonna be more expensive. So if being affordable is important to you, St. Paul can be a great option. Still some really cool homes. And as you're gonna see, some really great neighborhoods. Coming in at number five is the Como neighborhood. Now we love this one. If you have seen our, I think it was St. Paul North video that we did, uh, we love to take the kids there and you can see all about the zoo and everything going on in Como. That's really what this area is known for. So right in the middle here uh, is Como Park. So this has got Como Zoo. It's got Como Town, which is a little kind of kitty amusement park. Uh, it's got the conservatory. It's got the golf course and it's got a really cool outdoor play around. So, if you've got a family or you just really enjoy those types of things, this is a great area because everything within the Como neighborhood is within walking distance to a ton of really cool family things to do. So let's take a look at the report card from niche.com on the grades that they give the Como neighborhood. As you can see here, I mean, why do they always do this? I don't know. Weather is always rated a C plus. It's Minnesota, I mean, what do you expect? It's the same, uh, but anyways, I digress. Overall, niche.com gives an A plus rating. They've got really good scores for everything. The lowest two being cost of living and public safety. Now with cost of living, for example, you just gotta remember the best neighborhoods are always going to have a little bit higher price points for them. And so I'm not surprised this is actually gonna be one of the more affordable of the top five lists from what I've seen. And then as far as public schools, it's still a B minus rating. So you've got good schools, you've got A plus for crime and safety, uh, actually a good a diversity rating with A minus. So overall, uh, a really cool area. Talking real estate for Como neighborhood, you can see it's got a great median price point at only $236,000 for the Twin Cities. Again, that's a really low number. If you remember St. Paul, at 320 so for here being at 236 this is a really cool option if you want to be close to plenty of parks and amenities but still have an affordable price point coming at number four we've got the highland neighborhood now i'm not surprised at all that this neighborhood is on the list because it's definitely one of the highest demand areas in st paul so highland is located right in between minneapolis and st paul which is actually going to be the theme for most of these top five neighborhoods uh, you can see we're here on kind of that southwest corner but what people really love about the highland neighborhood is that it's right next to the river it's completely surrounded on as you can see kind of two or three sides uh, with the Mississippi River with that you've got Hidden Falls which is a really cool park right in here and then Crosby Farms Regional Park there's also another state park right down here with Fort Snelling so if getting outside is important to you, Highland Park can be a great neighborhood. Taking a look at Highland's report card, you can see niche.com. It's got very similar grades as Como did. Uh, again, what the heck with the C plus with the weather. Cost of living is a little bit lower because it's a little bit more expensive in the Highland neighborhood. That South side is just overall a little more expensive, um, but it's still rated very highly, a little bit higher for schools, great for families, nightlife, crime and safety, um, and then outdoor activities. I don't know why it's an A minus to be honest, because as far as St. Paul neighborhoods go, uh, Highland has got to be about the best neighborhoods for outdoor activities. Real estate wise, you can see Highland neighborhoods at 345,000. This is higher than St. Paul's median price point, but it's considerably lower than both Minneapolis and the Twin Cities overall. So it's still a great price point. You can find some, they're gonna be older homes generally in that area. And these ones are gonna be a little bit more modest than the next neighborhoods that you're gonna see. Uh, typically one stories or maybe two stories, um, and they're gonna be built in the early 1900s. Coming in third, and this is when it gets really fun, we've got the Summit Hill neighborhood. So this is a really, really cool area. Uh, definitely got some high end, some mansions. It's just a fantastic neighborhood. As you can see, this one's located just a little bit north of the Highland neighborhood, a little northeast. This is still in between Minneapolis and St. Paul, so it's still great if you're looking to commute to either direction. This one would be even a little bit better if you're trying to commute into St. Paul. We've got Grand Avenue that goes right in between it. That's gonna be where there's a lot of little shopping. Uh, as we're gonna see, this is kind of a college town area, and so um, some really cool like pizza and ice cream shops that are on Grand. And then Summit Avenue is gonna be where the governor's mansion is, and there's a lot of really high-end 
old Victorian style homes. You do also have quick access with 35W, and so this can be a great spot if you're trying to commute, especially like if you're trying to get to the airport, because that's located just down here, and it's not a very long drive to get straight out to the airport. Report card time for Summit Hill, you're not gonna be surprised. These are just gonna keep getting a little bit better as we go. Cost of living doesn't get any better as things are a higher price point in that area. You do have a mix here between uh, more condos than single families or a little bit higher percentage. And so because of that, I think it keeps the, the price point actually looking more affordable. But if you're looking for single families, you're definitely gonna be going up in price point for single families. Still great public schools, great safety, nightlife diversity and everything else. Very highly rated in the Summit Hill neighborhood. As I mentioned, the real estate price points are gonna be going up as we go through this list. Summit Hill neighborhood coming in at 433,000. So this is moving well above St. Paul and Minneapolis for the average price point, like I had said. That's gonna be because you're seeing much larger, old school, very high-end type of Victorian homes. And so if that's what you're looking for, this is a fantastic neighborhood to find it. Coming at number two is the St. Anthony Park neighborhood. St. Anthony Park is located actually on the north side of 94. 94 is our main highway that cuts between between Minneapolis and St. Paul. This one's a really cool, I was actually a little bit surprised with this neighborhood, but St. Anthony Park is gonna be uh, really close to what we call Dinky Town. So this is the University of Minnesota campus. It's huge, it's spread out all over the place. They've got buildings in, in many different locations. But Dinky Town would be located right in here, and this is where there's gonna be a ton of the main campus. So this is gonna be uh, definitely a younger, more college age uh, vibe in this area. You've got University Ave that goes right through here. This is gonna be where we've got a new light rail system that goes from Minneapolis to St. Paul. So if you're looking to live in somewhere that's a really convenient location for both, that's a great option. If you're trying to be close to University of Minnesota, St. Paul Park can be a really great option. There's got tons and tons of really cool restaurants uh, and things right through here. You know, obviously you're gonna see much more of the, the college crowd, lots of people studying at the coffee shops and getting pizza and stuff like that. Taking a look at the report card for St. Paul Park. This one uh, was actually pretty interesting. It's rated second, so it's rated a little bit higher for crime and safety, but it does actually come down in a few of the other metrics. Still very great neighborhood, highly rated, but public schools does come down to touch to a B minus. Um, cost of living goes up a little bit, so it's not nearly as bad as some of the other areas. Um, and then overall, still A plus ratings. What's really nice though about St. Paul Park is that price point comes back down. So this is gonna be a little bit more of that college town vibe and the price points are gonna be a little bit less. The real estate's gonna be a little less uh, luxury, you know, like old school vintage luxury, like with the Summit Hill neighborhood. Um, so you can find more affordable houses. It's only 350,000, which is a great price point. That's below the median for Minneapolis. It's a touch higher than St. Paul, but it's gonna be a great affordable neighborhood that's also very safe. And finally, rounding out the number one safest neighborhoods, according to niche.com is the McAllister Groveland neighborhood. Now, I was not surprised at all to see this one either. This is probably one of the most popular neighborhoods that I get calls about for people that are wanting to be in the St. Paul, Minneapolis area. You've got St. Kate, St. Thomas, and McAllister College, as well as Concordia up to the north side there. So it's definitely got a lot of that going on. You do have the mix of nature areas with the Mississippi River bordering it right there on the left. You've got commuting with 94 and 35 close by, the light rail's right in between there. And again, it's really great access for St. Paul, or you can zip across the river there and get straight up into Minneapolis from 55. So it's great for commuting, it's great for a lot of those things, and their real estate is really cool. As you can see, the median price point is at 382. So this is kind of an interesting mix of still being above the average price point, the median price point for the area, uh, but it's not as high end as like the Summit Hill neighborhood to the east there. This is a really good mix. So that's why it's a very, very popular neighborhood for St. Paul. So there's niche.com's list of the top five safest neighborhoods for St. Paul. My name's Joe Carmack. I'm a local Twin Cities real estate agent, and I'd love to help you with your move. So you can find all my contact to vote down below, and I'll see you next time.